What's up, Facebook? How's it going, you guys? I am really excited to hop on today and share something that I think is pretty authentic because it's been hopping around in my head a little while here. Um, my name's Bria. If we haven't chatted too much before, thank you so much, much for being here, for being in my page, for being a part of this community. Um, I am all about helping other women really rock that self-love, really find themselves um, after whatever they've been doing in their life, whatever society has told them that their body should be or look like or whatever, I am all about helping you understand that self-love happens when we follow through on things. And that kind of starts with loving ourselves with, with health and fitness. And uh, that's what you'll get a lot from me is like motivation, fitness, and this, that's sort of a big part of my story. Anyway, I wanted to share with you something that I think is a very big reality when it comes to how we talk to ourselves and how we treat health and fitness. Because one of the biggest excuses that I hear is, I don't have time, and this is the same excuse that I give to myself. I don't have time, or I'm just really busy, or I like this, and then I got bored, and then I wanted to do this, and I wanna take you back for a minute. I wanna take you back to high school, and um, if you didn't have a boyfriend like this, then you're probably pretty lucky, <laughs> because I had my fair share, and if you didn't have one, then high fives to you, but I'm sure you can think of a few girlfriends in high school or university who had a boyfriend who they started dating, and things were really, really exciting, and then all of a sudden he just moved on to someone else. And you're left there and you're wondering what happened? What's going on? Things were great, I was feeling really awesome, or they said all these things to you and then they just never showed up again. <laughs> or let's see, they, they said, I don't really have time for you. I don't have time, I'm so busy. And really, we all know we have the same amount of time, right? We all have that, it's about prioritization. The same thing happens in our body, and that's what I wanna to talk to you about when it comes to self-love. It was a big realization for me. I couldn't keep, I couldn't keep asking for a long-term loving relationship back from my body and treating it like a playa. You know what I mean? I couldn't keep saying to it, all right, let's do this, I'm in, I'm all in, and then the next day disappearing or the next week disappearing. That didn't show my body love. When you finally, whether you're in a really happy marriage or not, you know, you know when someone carves out time for you, you know when someone sacrifices or does some of the hard things, or maybe just recognizes that it's not always perfect. A happy, wonderful marriage is not always perfect. There are struggles. And the same goes for your relationship with yourself and your body. And I want you to be thinking about that. That if you keep acting like a player, and if you keep treating yourself like you're that high school boyfriend, then your body is never gonna respond to that. It's never gonna say, you know what? I'm in the healthiest, happiest place of my life because you treat me with love and respect. People get so confused, you know, and this was something that I got really confused about as well, thinking that that love was an emotion, that I needed to find a workout and be so into it and like it was just gonna be the workout like a soulmate out there. But you know, not to say that soulmates aren't real, but the reality is, is long-term beautiful relationships happen with time and respect and how you treat something. So you can't go into your body and loving your body and expecting it to be healthy and happy and change into the, what you want it to be if you're never gonna give the love to it, if you're gonna keep acting like a player. That's my message for you and that's what I want you to take home. And also think about it, you can think about it in so many different ways and it's just another relationship between you up here and you right here. How are you working together? Are you treating yourself well? Are you being kind? Are you saying nice things? Because I wasn't gonna stick around with a boyfriend and do nice things with my boyfriend if he was gonna be mean to me and say mean things to me. So don't say mean things to your body. Tell it it rocks. Tell it you love it the way it is and then treat it that way. Make sure that you're giving back to it, that you're moving it and exercising. Your body's like, hey, show me the love. <laughs> anyway, I hope that that resonates with you because for me, it's a really key part of recognizing 
success in, in love, in love with myself, in love with my body, in love in my relationship, in my marriage. It's remembering that love is not an emotion. You can't just go in and think it's going to be all amazing. That it it takes care. It's how you treat something. That's what love is. I hope that helps you guys as, as it does to me and. I want to invite you if you're if you're looking at understanding a little bit more about finding purpose in your life and and having that start with health and fitness I want to invite you to my webinar on what Thursday night this week I'll put the link in the comments below come and join me and let me share with you my three tips that have really made a difference in my life the last few years to living a life full of purpose that helps me love my body every day have an amazing amazing day you guys and we'll talk to you soon bye